Welcome, Neil Manowitz. Hello, thank you. It's always inspiring to see these stories told using our incredible innovations from our engineers. Whether it's one of our newest cameras or the spectacular crystal LED wall right behind me, no matter if it's an Academy Award winning film, a broadcast news report, or a world championship tournament. Together, we are creating the future. It's great to be back on a trade show floor here with our community. Thank you all for joining us near and far away. I'd like to extend a very special welcome to my good friend, Senior Vice President of Sony Corporation and Head of our Global Imaging and Mobile Businesses, Kenji Tanaka. Kenji-san, thank you so much for coming. So since we last met here over three years ago, our industry has gone through a major, major change. In many ways, the global pandemic has acted as an accelerant for great progress. We've seen an increased demand for high quality content, a rapid expansion of streaming platforms, and a shift to remote production workflows. All along the way, Sony has continued to be at the forefront of innovation. Over the next 30 minutes, we'll be sharing with you more on some of the key trends and initiatives that we've been focusing on. I'd like to start with virtual production, which uses the combined power of cinematic cameras, like our Venice 2, in-camera visual effects, and video walls, like our Crystal LED. This brings together the worlds of virtual reality and practical production in real time. The benefits are very obvious. Instead of a green screen, virtual production allows actors to directly interact with the set around them. Golden Hour Now can last all day, and any location can come to you. All of this is with the intent of empowering filmmakers to better tell their story. Virtual production is not a future technology. It is in use right now across a wide gamut of content creation. Traditionally, cameras and LED walls were developed independently but only Sony can unlock these technologies for a fully integrated, streamlined workflow. The second trend I want to talk about 
is the growing popularity of cinematic look across a wide range of live broadcast and multi-camera productions. Over the last several years, we've seen a huge increase in large format cameras, camera lenses, and the use of shallow depth of field to enhance live storytelling. You may have recognized this on your TV recently during some of the largest music performances and sporting events, including that big halftime show back in February. In just a few minutes, you'll hear about how we're enabling cinematic storytelling. The third trend is flexible workflows. Now, more than ever, companies are turning to IP in the cloud to connect and manage distributed networks, global content, and remote teams. With workforces isolated, quarantined, and in disparate locations, it's become increasingly important to give people tools to collaborate efficiently, remotely, and in real time. And last, but certainly not least, is the fourth trend, the extended support of our community. When the pandemic first emerged, Sony established a $100 million global relief fund to provide monetary support to those affected. We proactively worked with numerous industry organizations, including the ASC, the CSC, the Local 600, and Sports Video Group. We are honored to partner with such incredible organizations and are inspired by the difference they are making. We continue to prioritize diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts to support the current and future generations of storytellers. And we recently donated funds and journalism equipment to support Ukraine and the brave journalists who are putting everything on the line to ensure these stories are told. If the past few years taught us anything about our industry, it's that we're all an extended family. We need to support one another. And let's do exactly that. Next, I'd like to introduce Teresa Olesso, who is taking the stage for the first time as president of Sony Electronics Imaging Products and Solutions Americas. She's going to expand on the many trends that I've just discussed. I want to thank you all for coming, all for supporting us, and really, let's have a great show. Teresa, take it away. Thanks so much, Neil. I am super excited about being here today. We know just how hard the NAB has worked, and we appreciate their tireless effort to bring us all here together safely. And as a new president of Sony's imaging and solutions business, I truly believe we are the one of the most complete, dynamic entertainment companies in the world. We bring news and entertainment into people's homes and on theater screens everywhere. And our capabilities extend far beyond broadcast production and workflow solutions that all of you are very familiar with. My team also supports sports leagues, live events with AI-based tracking, review, and replay technology. We have AV solutions that are powering some of the top businesses and universities. And in the healthcare space, our solutions help to expedite the recent advancement in telehealth and remote monitoring. For many of you, Sony has been at the side for some of life's most rewarding and memorable moments. From your first TV or radio, to your wedding photos, home videos, first ultrasound, and everything in between. Our commitment to enhancing the daily lives of our customers remains unchanged. And this includes bringing the daily news into your home. I'm proud to share that many of the world's leading news agencies, including Gannett and the Associated Press, are using Sony cameras and they're communicating to thousands of critical news stories across the globe each and every day. And in addition to our cameras, Associated Press is also starting to utilize Xperia Pro 5G, our device to deliver images and videos and news to their head office around the globe. And beyond news, we're also supporting some of the world's most popular productions. I am super pleased to share that our Z750 4K HDR shoulder mount camcorder, it was recently selected by CBS's Emmy Award winning program, Survivor. It's going to play a pivotal role in the HDR ready production of Survivor's upcoming season, and it cements our long standing partnership and success in the reality show market. 
As Sony looks towards the future, we're using our influence to motivate and shape tomorrow's creators by providing them with the necessary resources and tools today. The most recent example of this is our new partnership with the USC School of Cinematic Arts. I am very proud to say that Sony and USC, one of the best film schools in the world, I might add, are going to be working together to create the future of entertainment by enhancing cinematic education. Beginning immediately, the USC School of Cinematic Arts will be adding a variety of the latest Sony imaging equipment and some of our creative tools to their renowned curriculum. Sony will also utilize this partnership to help improve our products based on feedback from students and their faculty. Additionally, the school will be installing a Sony virtual production studio featuring our latest crystal LED B-series wall you see here. And they're going to roll out virtual production curriculum beginning in the fall of 2022. To help me share in the excitement, I'd like to roll a quick clip from Assistant Dean Gail Katz. Everyone at the USC School of Cinematic Arts is excited about the new partnership with Sony Electronics. In order to do their best work, our students need the best tools possible. With Sony Cinema and Alpha Lines, our students can confidently realize any cinematic vision. And now, with the installation of the Sony C-LED wall for our virtual production curriculum, USC students will be equipped with cutting edge tools and the education to meet the demands of our changing industry. It's groundbreaking and that's good news for the future of our industry. We cannot wait to see the innovation that results from this partnership. So as we further collaborate with industry leaders, we're focused on addressing the needs of the virtual production, streaming, and esports markets. I am proud to share that we recently launched a new group at Sony, and that group is dedicated specifically to these areas. The new media solutions team brings together the expertise and resources from Sony's imaging and display businesses. They're responsible for managing a variety of Sony products and solutions, including our flagship cinema camera, Venice. And speaking of Venice, there's a certain high-flying movie coming out next month you may have heard of. What do we have here? Yeah, here I thought we were special. Fellas, this here's Bagman. Hangman. Oh, whatever. What the hell kind of mission is this? So that was just a little taste of the new feature film, Top Gun Maverick. In this behind the scenes photo from the film, you can see the producer and star with the Venice. They wanted to make sure that the film was shot practically. And to accomplish this, they used our Venice Rialto, which enables you to remove the sensor block from the body and extend up to 18 feet away with no loss of image quality. This allowed the crew to fit six Venice cameras inside the cockpit of an F-18 fighter jet, which could not be accomplished with any other camera. Venice continues to set benchmarks and is the perfect wingman for both blockbusters and streaming productions. Top Gun Maverick will be in theaters on May 27th. And with more than 400 productions under our belt in its first five years, the Venice is the most successful high-end digital cinema camera in company history. Building on that success is the release of Venice 2, which is making its trade show debut right here at NAB. The Venice 2 features a smaller body and has an all-new sensor that has 16 stops of dynamic range plus dual ISO for stunning low light capabilities and natural skin tones. This camera has just started shipping and is already used on the set of major feature films and episodics with filmmakers like Oscar winning cinematographer Claudio Miranda, Rob McLaughlin, Sal Titino, just to name a few. Check out some of the highlights. First thing you see is you just love the size. It's just a little bit smaller, so you know that you can kind of shoot raw and get it in places where you, you can't, you couldn't do before, which I love. And the second one is um, the 3200 ASA, which was 
unbelievably clean at night and totally usable for the big screen. I mean, we were doing some stuff at the very edge of exposure that was, I just thought was really stunning. That the base ISO have been increased a bit, the 3200 and the 800 has been fantastic. There you go. I didn't notice any noise when we were half in, half out and close to the surface of the water, but when we tilted down and we were doing the deeper stuff, we were at our 3200 base. When we're shooting underwater, I'd say 90% of the time we're in dark environments. We don't ha often have a motivation for a light source underwater other than surface lighting. It's always the god light, and there was no noise. Still had a little bit of brightness, but it was nice and clean. It has more latitude, but it's a, it feels to me, I guess I'm wondering if the extra resolution actually softens the, um, the image in a way. Like what happens with film, you will get more resolution and you get, you get like a softer image. It feels more cinematic in a way and it, feels, it has more latitude. I just wish like heck that I'd had this camera when I was shooting those big epic Game of Thrones episodes because um, you know, the, the, you know, just the scope and the detail and the richness and the three dimensionality of that quality of a picture is just that much greater and therefore I think that much more um, engrossing and, and involving. So as Neil mentioned a bit earlier, virtual production is a major trend in high-end cinematic production. It's also a trend in broadcast and B2B markets. The Venice plays a critical role in facilitating virtual production, but that's just part of what we're doing. Sony recently unveiled the new Crystal LED C-Series video wall with high contrast, as well as the bright B-Series wall, which you see here. It's built for virtual production. It's available in a 1.2 or 1.5 pixel pitch, and our B-Series is scalable, allowing productions to build LED volumes to the size and resolution that meets their needs. And with incredible brightness, each panel features a resilient surface design, deep black level performance, and a wide color gamut. Our goal is to optimally pair Venice and the Venice 2 with our crystal LED wall to create rich cinematic images in real time while finding effective ways to decrease work in post. This creates a beneficial value chain in the entire virtual production process. If you'd like to hear more about virtual production, join us 12.30 today for a panel discussing virtual production with David Moran from Epic Games Orbital Video Production Stage CEO, AJ Wedding, and Snowfall Cinematographer, Christian Herrera. Another major trend we're seeing is that of cinematic multicam, or Cine Live, as some refer to it. Sony has a long legacy in building incredible cameras used for broadcast, streaming, and cinematic productions. Our broadcast cameras have always been the preferred tool to use to bring football's biggest game to life. And this year, you may have noticed a cinematic touch to the halftime show that was brought to you by 12 Venice digital cinema cameras. In fact, the production company switched to the Venice because of its ability to seamlessly integrate into the broadcast production. While using a cinema camera can produce beautiful images, many broadcasters like that large sensor look but prefer a broadcast camera body. So with that in mind, we decide designed the F5500, and it's making its NAB debut today. With the addition of the Super 35 F5500, we've offered the beauty of the cinematic look in a system camera form factor that integrates with our HDC CCUs and RCPs, and color matches with our 2 thirds inch camera line. Having dominant market share in this space, we knew the industry loved our look but needed a way to easily achieve it for live broadcasts and events. And today I'm thrilled to share that the F5500 has already been adopted by the most influential broadcasters, mobile truck companies, live event producers, and churches. In fact, Game Creek and NEP have purchased the F5500 to use on marquee live sports events. And it was also recently used on movies and music's biggest award shows, helping us to own end-to-end -end storytelling at every level. And to talk about cinematic multicam trend and how it's impacting the marketplace is Aaron Cook, producer of the halftime show at this year's biggest football game. Take a look.
So this year for the Super Bowl, we use the Sony Venice as the primary platform. Um, in addition to that, we use the Sony FX6. And then we also had for the Sky Cams, the Sony um, P50 and P43. Using all of, all of the Sony cameras for the halftime show and not having to intercut the game cameras gave us complete control. Uh, one of the interesting things that we did with that is we had our DIT actually setting focus from our control room, so we didn't even have an AC on the field pulling focus on that camera. Because we had it mounted so high, we didn't have a cable that could reach that high. Really what we're doing live that's a game changer for live broadcast is doing live color grading. We weren't sure if the show was gonna land, you know, during the daytime or twilight or dark because we didn't know how long the first half of the Super Bowl was going to be. In order to be able to make the incremental adjustments that we needed to real time, um, Sony Venice was the product that worked well for us. One of the things that we did for the halftime show that changed the look and feel of it significantly was we relied on shallow depth of field. We really brought the focus to the artists performing on that stage. It made it a more intimate experience for everybody viewing at home. The visual aesthetic, the great music, the story behind the story, you know, and how we were able to capture that, it all just really lended itself perfectly for creating a moment that 150 million people were able to enjoy at the same time. We've created this next level where we're now working from, and we have creative um, latitude that's gonna probably take us through the next 20 years or 30 years of broadcast television. So at Sony, voice of customer shapes everything we do and helps us push the envelope when developing our latest and greatest technology. And with that, meet the HTC 3200, which is the middle child in our family of two-thirds inch global shutter camcorders. It fits nicely within our HDC series of broadcast and studio cameras, affording our customers a vast selection of tools depending on the feature set and price point that they're looking to operate within. And as the landscape continues to change and remote-based work becomes our new reality, the advantages of cloud and IP workflows are paramount. Behind the scenes, we're helping professionals share and review content in real time and connecting customers and facilities around the globe. On the cloud front, we're enhancing our tool set to help enterprises and content creators. For example, our C Media Cloud recently added a workflow perfect for VFX and Conform, and sees improvements to in-app commenting, clipping, and live streams help simplify the process and allow for quicker publishing to social media. In addition, camera to cloud capabilities are enabling more freedom and flexibility for efficient productions from the field or the front lines. And with that shift to remote work comes the need for an IP infrastructure and resource sharing. This is driving an increase in the need for solutions associated with a remote production model. And with Sony's acquisition of Nevion, we are better positioned to help our customers connect and share data faster and more efficiently than ever before. This was recently demonstrated when Riot Games selected Nevion to support their global IP remote production project. Additionally, customers, including global streamers, have employed Nevion to provide reliable, low latency transport of video from data centers to editing and quality control suites miles away, and in some cases, connecting facilities across the world. This model offers cost savings on equipment, real estate, and power, while increasing the flexibility of personal and maxi maximizing our space. Finally, I want to touch on Hawkeye, Sony's impressive technology, which is behind the scenes powering the sports world. With deals in place across almost every professional league in the United States and 23 of the top 25 federations globally, sports fans and leagues worldwide have benefited from a safer, fairer, and more engaging experience. With the recent introduction of real-time skeletal tracking, we have a full set of solutions that are pushing the boundaries for broadcasters and rights holders. And today, we're proud to announce the Hawkeye Replay product suite. It's a high-performance, cost-effective remote clipping, replay, and highlight solution. Following the success of Hawkeye's Emmy Award-winning golf production technology, 
This new offering adds optical tracking and data platforms to create a powerful production toolkit. And as we look to the future, we're aligning with Manchester City Football Club. We're gonna create an exciting next-gen fan experience that combines the physical and the virtual world. So there you have it. From imaging and visualization to IP and cloud production, Sony's commitment to providing best-in-class solutions for our customers has never been stronger. We're in the foreground capturing breaking news and in the engine that powers your favorite television show or blockbuster movie. Our solutions continue to inform, entertain, engage and connect fans and professionals in ways that it could have never been imagined before. We look forward to creating the future together. Thank you so much for joining us here today and learning more about Sony's transformation to drive the future of our industry. Now, as they say in the business, on with the show. <laughs>